Hey friends, happy new week, happy new vlog. If the quality is not as great, I promise you guys, we're gonna step up the video quality as soon as I get my YouTube schedule on check. But anyway, just got home, didn't vlog the whole day. It's literally like five o'clock. Um, just got home to some happy mail. So I figure I'm very impatient. I could do this in the morning, but I would not. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, this is not really happy mail. This is just a subscription that I get from T Frontier from Amazon. I love this collection so much. So I get that on a refill regularly. This package, I'm not sure what it is. We are going to. Oh! So I really wanted to try Shein. Shein. Um, and try some of the floors. I said I wasn't buying any more floors, but I got a gift card from one of my coworkers, um, and I didn't know what to use it for. So I was like, you know what? Let me try some floor um, stems from Shein. And they just came. It was quite pretty fast because I ordered this like a week and a half ago. Um, so yeah, here they are. So I have four bundles here. Perfect for spring and summer. Does it look um, high end? No, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, we are going to make it look high end, okay? gonna hurry up before hubby comes and jumps into conclusion of oh my gosh she's been shopping when it's not like that's not the case not at all not the case at all okay so so that was that it's most excited about i got this from our house and it's been over six months now so their shipping is extremely slow and this is like the second time i'm ordering from them and yeah it's just not it's not encouraging at all so i had this vase in a very petite version and i just got the larger one that do have the medium one so i got the larger one um to go with the mini one that I have and hopefully it's not as small because this base kind of runs small so we're going to see how it looks so far from the packaging I feel a little better because the previous one was such a disappointment because I expected something bigger so here it is right here, and I'll give you guys a better view um, on how it looks like. And let me get the smallest one, the mini one, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So here's the mini one right here. Come on camera, there we go. As you can see, it has, has like a um, nice texture going on. I love that. Sorry, I have like packaging stuff remaining on me. And this is dirty, it needs to be clean, but once it is clean, it's going to look so, so nice. So here is the large size. And okay, maybe not the best stem for this vase, but you get the point. Um, <laughs> it probably has like some dry um, floors in here, but there it is. Right. And this piece right here, I've been looking for a, sorry, I'm like behind trying to open this box if you guys don't see me. So I was looking for a box that could hold my remote in the family room. I'm also on a hunt for one for this particular room. And then this light looks so cozy, you guys. Set the mood. It's Valentine month. By the time you guys are watching this, it is. So, I could hold my remote and also go with my home aesthetic. I said I was not buying any decor this year, but obviously I'm going to buy things that I do need. Um, and then right now, you guys saw why I kept my remote the last video. It is just not cute. I'm not sure which video will come up first, whether it's going to be the family room reveal 
or this video i think the family room reveal will go first so you guys will probably see this see this box in that room so here is the box right here it's a set of three. Oh my god and the reason why i decided to go ahead and order this is because let me take this out of the box first so we can talk why being is because for the longest i actually found this box and it went trendy on instagram like everybody and their mama was sharing it so oh man i swear social media is sometimes funny but anyway so when I found them at first, they weren't expensive, but when then everyone and the mom started sharing on Instagram, they went up on the prices. So I was looking, actually looking for something different, a little bit more different than this, but I still love this piece. I thought it would be like so pretty, go with my aesthetic. They also had it in black, okay? So I thought it would be pretty, go with my aesthetic, but I'm like, you know what, let me find one um that's a little different but i couldn't find it so i kind of forgot about this box and like a couple months later it came back into you know my mind and then i found it on wayfair for four no three hundred dollars more than what i found this on amazon so I'm going to link both links down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But guys, this is so, so, so stunning, so high-end. So it's leather with the brass detail. It's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Can you see this? She is so stunning. Oh my God. All right. So here it is. I have it temporary place in this little location where and it looks so so pretty you guys it looks so so good i'll show you guys in a better daylight situation but because right now the light is reflecting so much yellow but it is so pretty i almost wanted to go with a black and i still might still do it but i don't know hey guys i'm not trying to scare you i am in the rock today like no makeup nothing okay I have so much on my plate today. I just got home actually from a long two-hour dentist appointment between two kids. Um, and now I still haven't moved like their medical or also dental stuff nearby. So it's like a 45 to one hour drive. So bear with me. I look a little rough. But anyway, yeah, I will show you guys the stuff that I got in the daylight. But I hope you guys enjoy this vlog with me. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm sure by now most of you all saw my family room tour and i just want to say you guys are the absolute best thank you all so much for the love and support on that video it just wowed me because i know my journey on youtube hasn't been the easiest i haven't been consistent but i'm committed to posting one video a week now you guys know i'm back at work and i work part-time now uh although it's supposed to be full-time but you know with the vic everything is just like not certain right now not settled nothing is consistent so i do want to be regular on posting once a week but sometime life might happen where i'll be posting once every two weeks but i'm here to stay i love you all and for those who've been with me since day one thank you so much from the bottom of my, of my heart i can name a few april tamika you know yourself like thank you all and for all my new followers thank you thank you thank you i'm so grateful that you're here so let's get to the reason why i wanted to do voiceover on this section so our previous home we had shorter ceiling so i had these velvet curtains for my dining room at the previous home and these are 98 inch long or 98 or 90, 96 i'm not sure what the proper height is but i know there's 96 and then 108 so the ceiling in this new home a bit higher my friends moving in 2020 was so expensive i mean just so much and just moving in general especially if you're coming from a home where you feel like you're more established and you move into a new home it's a blessing in the sky to have higher ceiling but 
I spent a little bit of money on these velvet curtains, although I found a cheaper um, route with Amazon with the same company, but it's cheaper on Amazon versus Overstock. So what I did, I used the shorter curtains that I that came from my previous home in the areas of the sectional where you can't see it because it'll be hidden by the sectional, and in the areas where you could see it I just order 108 velvet curtains to put there so it's just a little tips I know and don't when it comes to home design but who's paying you know who's controlling your pocket okay it's all about what people can see what works for you and what you can afford at the time being so I just wanted to share that with you all I am steaming these velvet curtains but it was horrible um you could see that <laughs> the next day you could see like lines still so what i did i saw this with a designer i just use a hair clip and kind of like make them hold their own little wave i'm not I, it's hard for me to for me to explain myself as a bilingual woman okay but you guys will see the method that i mean because i wanted to look custom and nice and if you want a luxurious look to your velvet your curtains i say go velvet like it'll give you the luxe look like these are not true velvet curtains okay it's full velvet but it looks it looks so high-end and i highly recommend it the link will be down below if you guys are interested in them So I'm taking you guys back on a few clips. Um, this was when we were installing the velvet curtains. Now the rod that we had did not meet the expect the weight expectation of the curtains. The curtain panels um, weighed three pounds per panel, and I had a total of six. So when my husband was putting the last piece, it came down like the middle section came down with the drywall so we had to repair that you can see my facial expression right there i wasn't too happy um even though we had three bracket what we end up doing we bought additional bracket at amazon and added a total of five bracket just to hold the weight i just didn't want to go through getting a new hardware it was hard finding the proper hardware with the proper length um just to do this so yeah just want to keep that in mind if you decide to do cis curtain panel on a bracket that doesn't meet the weight expectation just buy additional bracket just to add it to your um stud to make sure you have your wall secure Thank God for Amazon overnight shipping. We were able to get the bracket the next day. So right here, I'm just holding the weight of the hardware so he can get something else to help us support it um, for the time being. So yeah, it was not fun during the process. But as I said, this is previous clip before what you guys saw. So we had it done. We had the drywall repair, um, repainted. So the reason why there was a delay in uploading the family tour for you guys. My apology for the light that kept bouncing off and on in this room. It was a very cloudy day, so I had to add the light on to film. And also, I didn't realize that the light in the room was reflecting my camera as well. So, my deepest apology, you guys. We're going to step up our video game um, very soon. I just want to have a more consistent schedule with my phone. It's so much easier for me to edit with my phone right now. And then once I have a schedule all set, then I can start recording with my professional camera and that will eliminate some of the hiccups that you guys are seeing. So I'm just fixing things up so I can record the house tour. What I did in this video, I record the night portion and I recorded the daytime portion the following day. I don't like using artificial light if I don't have to, so reason why being. So I bet you guys are confused to what just happened. So my hubby day, he removed the middle bracket to a stud area to support the weight until we got the additional bracket from Amazon. Because this was actually the day I was supposed to record the tour. So I was like, no, I'm not just going to pull 
prolong it anymore so i just clean up pull the curtains and then we filmed it um and then the next day it came so just behind the scene um little hiccup that we had but i'm happy to say that everything is fixed the drywall is done and i also wanted to show you guys the curtains that i talked about previously how it looks it's a little secret so the middle part of the curtains are short and it's going to get hidden by the sectional the longer part or at the end just a little tip if you want a tight budget or you don't want to spend the money i mean who is going to see it and who can tell from looking at from this video extra support thanks to my hubby he's gonna see if we need the bracket in the middle here as well so the bracket came in a pack of two from Amazon so yeah love it someone is watching TV already <laughs> he had to move the sectional a little bit but yeah so I got my rice maker in and this came from William Saloma um, I'm sure you guys know that we're in Soma and Pottery Barn or uh, sister stores. So I earn points from shopping so much there and you don't have to have a credit card with them. It's just you register through phone number so you can earn points to accumulate and buy something that you really want. So I had about $100 guys. So I went ahead and got a this rice cooker plus warmer now this is korean i used to have one back in the days and i'm telling you it'll keep your rice for about three days warm and it's not it's not like crunchy it doesn't have any moisture so i really love these korean rice um cooker because they're extremely extremely good quality <music> I had to cook this palm oil too and she is just <laughs> the most I don't want to show her because she's always has this thing on her head 24 7 24 7 this is how she looks at home oh my gosh but anyway yeah we're making palm oil stew we got the chicken here and goat meat 
making some rice on the side. I cannot wait to tell you guys more about this rice cooker. I'm so happy. I love it. Because, because I know it's Korean, I'm just excited because it keeps our rice warm, fresh for at least three days. Don't have to worry, you don't have to scoop your rice out into a different container if you guys don't finish eating it. Um, but if you're not a rice eater, then you know. But it also makes soup, it makes stew, it's a slow cooker, um, and also the different things. So I can't wait to dig into more recipe and but yeah, I just I just love knowing that I have my rice cooker back. Like I had one prior to this one for like over five years and it worked amazing.